Hey everybody, happy Wednesday. I hope you're all having a great week so far. Um, today we're gonna be talking about colors. Uh, we're gonna be reading two books. The first one will be about color mixing and different shades we can create with different colors and um, complementary colors and things like that. Um, the next book will be about our feelings and how they relate to different colors. Um, so we're gonna do color mixing first. So just a few questions. I know you all are pretty good with your color mixing, but I just wanna um, test your knowledge real quick. All right, so what if we mix red and blue? What color will we get if we mix those two colors? Purple, that's right. Um, what about red and yellow? Orange, right. Okay, what about blue and yellow? Blue and yellow. Green, that's right. Um, what about red and white? What does that make? Pink, that's right. So we're gonna learn about mixing colors. Uh, this book was written by Ruth Heller. All right, my phone keeps moving, so I might touch it a lot, sorry. From pencils and markers and crayons and chalks, from paints in a tube or a jar or a box, come colors delicious, delectable, lush. Applied by 10 fingers to hands or a brush, to paper or canvas, or less orthodox to faces and t-shirts and fences and walks. Then abracadabra by hook and by crook, every one of those colors got into this book. They were printed by printers in four inky stages and now they appear right here on these pages. Hmm. This is a picture of our book. The book we're reading is, is in the book. That's interesting. <laughs> Uh, okay, stage one is yellow, mag magenta stage two. Stage three, like the sea, is cyan blue. Black is stage four, and the printers are through. So they just use four colors to make this beautiful fish right here. Started with yellow, and they stacked a little magenta on top, and they have orange and yellow here. Um, oh, and magenta, of course. And stage three, they put a little blue on top of it. So they were able to create some purples and greens. And then they add a detail with the black. The printers are some kind of wizards, I think. And minuscule dots, they apply all the ink. They apply all the ink to a surface that's white. Hocus and pocus, behold, what a sight. Black, plus these primary colors, comprise the only four inks any printer applies. We call black a color, but that's problematic. Black should really be called achromatic. And achromatic means free from color. Let me say achromatic. Achromatic. So yellows, magentas, and cyan blues are the primary hues that printers use. And the combination of any two produces a secondary hue. The secondary colors seen are presto and changeo, orange, purple, and green. So we have primary colors and secondary colors, and that's all of these colors right here. So we have six colors now. Now there are six to combine and to mix. The colors continue their magic tricks. The colors continue their magic tricks whenever they blend or combine or mix. So in this book, we have these interesting clear pages. So these pages have colors that are different than the colors over here. You can see how they mix by overlapping them. Mix white with a color and call it a tint. But there's no white ink for the printer to print. So with computers and cameras and lasers and screens and by other mechanical magical means, they shrink the dots and the colors fade. Mix black with a color and call it a shade. So if you mix white with a color, you call it a tint, like pink. Or if you mix black with a color, you call it a shade. Yeah. 
if you mix black with a color, it's just gonna make it darker. If you put too much in, it's gonna make it black. Mix red with a color and make it warm and blue to make it cool. And if you follow this very same rule, blues become warm and reds become cool. Cool colors recede and the warm ones advance. Some colors together vibrate and dance. Mix opposites on this wheel and the splendor is gone and the color gets duller. Opposites on that wheel you see are always called complementary. So if you look over here, this purple and green, they're opposite each other, they're on the other side. If you mix it, you get this kind of dull shade here. Not like if you mix two of the primary colors, which you would make a secondary color. <laughs> now stare at the green and stare at the pink and count to 30 and try not to blink. Then shift to the right and stare at the white. The colors have switched. Complementary colors are truly bewitched. It's the weirdest thing I have ever seen. The green is pink and the pink is green. Color is magic, no doubt about that. If you're not convinced, I'll eat my hat. Bah. All right, we have more of these clear pages here. All right, let's see. So we have her eating her hat over here with her beautiful flowers. Let's see what happens as we flip our clear pages. Again, they stacked all those colors to make those pretty flowers because well, all the flowers are on these clear pages. So interesting. All right, colors and that's color mixing. All right, the next story we're going to read, like I said, is about feelings and how our um, emotions or feelings can relate to colors. This book is called I Am a Rainbow and that's written by Dolly Parton, who is also a country music singer. make up our whole world, everything we say and do. But did you know each boy and girl is made of colors too? When I'm tickled pink, it means I'm feeling dandy. Everything is great and as sweet as cotton candy. Can you think of something that makes you feel pink or dandy or happy? But guess what happens when my sister pulls my hair? Then I turn red. I'm as angry as a bear. Mm. What is something that makes you feel angry or red? What makes you feel red? If mommy says time out, I pout for a minute or two. Then I get bored and sad and I feel kind of blue. What is something that makes you feel blue or sad? Sometimes I get jealous that I'm feeling green. That happens when I'm left out of a happy scene. What makes you feel green? This little boy feels jealous or green because he has all the presents and he has none. It's sad. When I'm feeling scared, kids call me yellow, but I can find my courage and be a brave fellow. So he's feeling scared or yellow. What is something that makes you feel yellow? When we play together, it makes me feel so cozy. My mood is joyful and everything is rosy. Hmm. What is something that makes you feel rosy or joy? So remember as you go from hue to hue that each and every person has feelings too. It's not always up to you the way that you feel, but how you act is a different deal. So be a rainbow, shine above, and filter all your glow through love. It's nature's way these colors you show so simply say, I am a rainbow. The end.
red. That's just the way you can think about your feelings as colors. Oh, I had so much fun reading to you guys today. Um, I will see you all on our Zoom chat on Thursday.